Gaff, it's been 11 days since we last saw each other, which has probably been the longest time since we've been apart since July. First of all, how are you? Yeah, good, child. Uh, obviously busy on the phone, being home, spent a bit of time with the family, which has been nice. Um, recharge the batteries a little bit, but constantly on the phone, constantly looking at computers, constantly speaking to people, because um, the recruitment needs to be unfolded very quickly, if you like. We, you know, we don't want to wait to the last minute, so that's the aim, mate. And um, we're on good track. You mentioned there about recharging your batteries. How important is it to sort of have that little bit of a rest, considering the season where you just had yourself? Yeah, it is. To be fair, you, you need the rest. Obviously, you know, in terms of you know, you can get your day to day life back going. You know, are you going to the gym, going for runs, going for walks, you know, eating the right foods? Although I try and do that as much as I can when I'm down here. But ultimately, when you're constantly on the go in your job, it's you know, you're always on the move. So it's been nice to recharge the batteries. But again, you know, it's we're looking to have an exciting season next season. We're looking to keep moving in the right direction. We're looking to keep getting the right personnel, and right players in to suit us. Uh, and that's the work that's ongoing at the moment. Mention work is ongoing at the moment. Obviously, football never stops, even though you are trying to enjoy as much of the break as possible. Uh, you signed our first player of the season today, James Wilson. We have, yeah. He was uh, our first target, first choice target, if you like it, in that back line. Uh, I've been monitoring James for some for, for some time now. We obviously knew in January time that his contract was coming to an end. Uh, I'm pleased to have him. He, he's a leader. He's a good footballer. He's fast. He can edit. He can kick it. Uh, you know, we've been part of a defence of, of Ipswich that only conceded the seven goals from set pieces. Um, you know, but he's one of many we want to bring through the door. Who's had that uh, pedigree of, of winning promotions. Um, He's, yeah, he's the grand old age of 32, but he hasn't played 500 games. He's, he's in the 260, 270 mark, which is good for us because he hasn't had a lot of minutes in his legs. But he's a real leader, and I'm really pleased to have him on board, really. You mentioned his promotions there. He's been promoted from this league with Sheffield United. How important is it to have that sort of success at this level? Yeah, well, first and foremost, I'm not sitting here saying we're going to go and do that. The aim is to, to finish as high as we can next season. But when you've got them winning, winning mentality players and lads in the dressing room, you become hard to beat. Um, over the years, we got promoted from League Two. We were looking for them type of characters, them type of players. We certainly done that, and certainly had them players, and that's what we're looking to do now. There's no guarantee that that helps, but what it does do, it just shows the leadership qualities that James has got, and hopefully the other players who are looking to sign as well, because it's important you've got that, and we feel James is certainly one of them. This week we've also seen Ollie. Uh, Thomas and Joe was committed to the future of the club. You must be delighted to see what's Yeah, listen, the two of them, Ollie's a, a youngster in terms of, you know, he he done fantastic the last couple of games, didn't he? Obviously, the results weren't great, but in terms of him personally and, and coming through the ranks as, as a schoolboy at Plymouth Argyle, uh, you know, he's got a big future ahead. And then obviously to see the captain, who's ironically a good friend of James Wilson, sign his long term contract in terms of two years. We were always going to do that with Joe, he's been fantastic on and off the pitch this season. And he deserved a two-year contract. Uh, I've seen a bit of social media where the fans are absolutely made up. He signed, and so was I. Um, the minute we spoke with his agents and got it done, there was only one way, one place he wanted to sign, and that was Plymouth Argyle. So, really pleased. And as I say, looking forward to many more. In terms of the other lads, you have yet to sort of give you a decision what we're going to do. Have you heard much from them? No, the, the contract offer's going out. I think L L Lawsy, we spoke to Lawsy. Um, you know, he, he'll be he'll be done next week, early next week. He's he's committed. Um, and then obviously Danny, I'm speaking with Danny tomorrow. And then I'll speak with Connor probably Monday. You know, I want to give the lads look. They know what we're about. We don't have to sell anything to, to these players that've been with us. You know, Danny. Lawsy to an extent and Connor have, have earned promotion with us from League Two. They know what we're about, you know what I'm about as a man, you know what the football club's about now. Um, so yeah, we, we won't put no pressure on them. We'll, we'll give them a little bit of time because as you said, it's only been 11 days since the first game. And then we'll sit down and discuss some further things with, with, with Connor, especially and, and Danny also over the next few days. In terms of wider recruitment, for example, I imagine as you sort of touched on earlier, you'd be on your phone a lot with like the air, well, I can imagine Shuey a lot. Is that, is that going okay? Yeah. Excuse me, yeah, it's going well. <coughs> you know, Jimmy and Shuey are doing a lot of the analytical stuff and numbers and the data stuff, and <coughs> you know, because they've been down here, and me and Neil are on the phone constantly speaking to agents and, and the odd player here and there who's out of contract. And you know, we do want to try and get things running smoothly very quickly, we don't want to jump the gun on anything. 
but as you've seen I think it's a bit of a statement of intent in Simon, Simon and James Wilson today uh, they're the type of personnel and characters we're after uh, we've got irons in the fire with a few more players but again we'll be rushed into nothing but we want to make sure it's a, it's, it's a smooth a smooth way of, of signing these players you know we don't want to just pick up the phone and say oh yeah turn up we've got to do our own work the, 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 the due diligence we've got to put into these players and then the numbers have all got to stack up as also because that's the way we're about at times so yeah it's, it's looking promising Charles and we've just got to keep working and finally we've had over 50% of the season to get renewed we know how important it is to have a packed out home park stadium do you have a message to the fans who are yet to renew or who are just, thinking? Just a thank you so far, so far so good, keep it doing it. I liked it that um, the thing that was on, the, I was sitting in the house and it come on the news uh, about the, you know, the vaccinations and people walking into the white season sick, it's great, keep, keep the queues going that way. So, But all jokes aside, I think you know they've missed it and we've certainly missed them. So the more that can keep coming through the door, the more that can commit to buying season tickets. We know it's tough at the moment because you know we're just coming out of a pandemic. but. Trust me, you've seen this sign today, there's going to be plenty more to be excited about, so keep them season tickets coming and keep supporting us.